Ciao a tutti, I'm Marcello from TBL and welcome to a new video. Today we take a look at Warsaw by Pixelated Milk, a tomb based strategy game set during the, the, the invasion of the Nazis in Varsavia. We will go, let's first check, we will go through the first hour of We will go through the tutorial that give us the um, explanation about the, the game's mechanics so you can understand what it's all about. Tutorial campaign, next. Difficult battles, regular difficulty uprising. Affect momentum, encounters and loot. Affect health of enemy and your characters. Okay, two arms. Let's start the campaign. The uprising begins, but before you are throwing deep end, you will play for a short tutorial. Right now, you are exploring fragment of city and your party is represented by a unique symbol. You can see your current team inventory available action point at the bottom of the screen. Your task is to complete the mission by fulfilling all the objectives shown in the upper left of the screen. Movement on the map depletes your action point. Should you run out of action point before completing the given set of objectives, a mission will result in failure. For now, however, continue along the street. To move your party toward the, mo the mouse cursor, press and hold the L and B. Okay, here we are. This we can move through the map. You will see this represent a barrier. We can go through. For now, let's go. Along your way through the streets and sewer of Warsaw, you will run into enemies loot and multiple choice events. Certain enemies may force you into combat if they spot you and you are in their danger zone, represented by a red circle around the enemy symbol. Console the eye icon to check if the enemy can see you. Okay. If any of these encounters are nearby, an arrow displayed near your party icon will direct you. Initiate the encounter by approaching it with your party and clicking on a button on the event pop up. Okay. Your team needs ammunition before they can join the fight. Proceed. Before you set off a rail pound, the first order of business is to arm yourself. Your team arrives to receive their essential. Okay. During our missions, we encounter events like this that can can help us or give us trouble. Multiple choice to pick from. Certain choices during this event may require spending resources or passing trade check with one of your characters. Failing these checks will typically result in negative consequences and sometimes even death. All checks are clearly marked in the text. Now proceed with your party. Okay, we obtained ammunition. Supply drops resources and discover while in the field you will run into many opportunities to retrieve equipment for the uprising. When the load window is open, click the item you wish to store in your own. Okay. Space is limited and should you go over capacity you will need to leave some items behind. Okay. This is our inventory. It's not 
is, lim is limited, limited to this, okay? Let's go on way straight on. Okay, here we have patrol interception. The Nazi patrol need to be eliminated if you are to reach the red light point. Okay, let's see the, the the battle phase. It works like it re it reminds it reminds darkest dungeon. More so, you begin each round with a number of, uh, of activations equal to the number of combatants on your side. Okay, here. Okay, activations are required to perform skills. Both sides alternate in using their activations, and the current round ends when both sides use all of their allotted activation. Now try activating a combatant. Okay, we have these activation that are shared between our units. Okay. Highlight using the mouse and press here. Yeah. Highlight the skill using the mouse to display the tooltip and marker the sh that show the starting position required for performing that skill. Okay, highlight target acquire. This is uh, an offensive skill, sell it by pressing. Okay, offensive skill, we can see the, um, the target area and all the information about this skill ignore, ignore covers okay when you select the skill marker showing the range of the skill will appear you can only target enemies within range keep in mind that most skills have a more limited range highlight using the mouse and press the left mouse button to select the enemy grenadier okay the animation reminds a lot Douglas dungeon. You have successfully damaged an opponent with your skill, but it costs you some ammunition and a point of stamina. Stamina is displayed under the combatant health bar here. The combatant effectiveness relies on this stamina level. 3 stamina, no penalties. 2 stamina, accuracy reduced by 10. 1 stamina, all damage received increased by 20%. 0 stamina, combatant cannot be activated. All combatants regenerate one point of stamina each round. Okay, so we must be careful to to use all all our units. Some skills are able to affect more than a single target. Okay. In addition, the skill will allow multiple target during the target and mission step. Now it's time for your second activation. Use a defensive skill for a change. Okay, select. Jadviga First aid When using defensive skill the target marker appear on your side Target Christoph Notice that your character took reduced damage. Standing right behind the obstacle grant combatants additional armor reducing the damage they receive. Keep in mind however that obstacle will get damage too. Okay. Select Kristoff. Notice that you have other options aside from using offensive or defensive skill, such as moving your character or skipping the activation altogether. While both use up an activation, only movement affects stamina. Try moving Christoph to a better position. Okay, let's select. Here we have the movement, and we can move move him here. Okay, so we have the protection. Select Christoph. Target acquire. Combatant on both sides occupy tiles on one of two horizontal lanes. All targets attacked from the other lane are considered flanked, and receive. Okay, 15% bonus damage. Note that this applies both to your party and the enemies and does not apply to enemy heavy weapon or armored units. Now it's time to make use of this bonus. Okay. Draw out. Hmm. Select Casimir's 
it's time to use a buff select contraband ammunition note that you cannot use more down because of your incorrect position okay increase the chance to apply burn okay skills can apply okay buffs you can over you can hover over these icons each acti activation and each new round decreases the duration encounter okay here on the left we can see clearly described the the buffs and and the debuffs okay like this one select Christoph single shot okay we put it bleed on the enemy this concludes the guide combat mechanical you will now be given free reign to finish the fight as you see fit good luck okay let's finish this fight um, let's move our unit here need to move at least one tile ah okay here Okay. Hmm. Mow down deals penetrate. Okay, we killed one. We can clear out. You have victorious, defeated enemies. Proceed. Remember, death is permanent, whether in battle or event, it is vital to keep your characters alive and well, especially since their health does not replenish automatically. While certain rewards may appear promising, sometimes it's better to limit your risk and avoid combat altogether. Okay. Having emerged victorious from the first real engagement, your team descend into the city sewer network. Okay. And all objectives are fulfilled. Okay, completed mission. Press the complete mission to return to your hideout. Okay, I want to show you the hideout and then I leave the the game to you. If you're interested, you can find it on on Steam. Carrying out missions take time, at the end of every mission you will receive a quick summary of all the gain and losses of the uprising. You will also get to resolve all the events that have transpired in the meantime. Okay, these are the district. This is the summary, then we can see insurgents have recovered 25% of their health. Okay, proceed. Event. One of the youngest members of Grey Rang was forced to kill an enemy soldier in self defense today. Curiously, despite the initial shock, it would seem the, youth, the youthful soldier has taken quite a liking to firing guns and sides now and is excited to get back into the fray. 1% of prizing momentum. Now it means so much fun. 
next day, day two. Hideout tutorial. You have reached the resistance hideout, your base of operation between assignment. You can either view the tutorial explaining the hideout or skip it. Let's see the tutorial. Here you can plan a new mission, oversee party recovery, manage spare equipment and recruit volunteers for the cause. These activities can be accessed with the assistance of specialist NPCs. Your current and future party member will also be present here. Press the left mouse button on a character portrait to open the character menu okay this is the this is our hideout let's see some some option character overview here you can see your character attribute traits equipment weapons and skills if you wish to adjust your equipment or skill proceed okay summary her skill Okay, keeping skill. To keep a skill, press left mouse button. Skill marked with a red background are weapon skills. These are mean to deal damage and will consume ammunition. The available skills will change depending on the equipment, equipped weapons. Different skill colors signify personal skill. Okay. Then we have weapons. To keep a weapon, press. Okay, each combat has a. Okay, experience. Character gain experience by completing missions and participating in battles and events. Experience can be used to purchase new skill, purchase, 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 you know, new skills and perks. Commendation can be used to grant additional experience to any card. Okay. The nurse allow you to monitor the health status of your party and their recovery rate. Any healing performed into the field in temporary and does not carry over. Upon return, characters will be at the lowest health level they had during the mission. To recover permanently, they will need to see the nurse. Although you can take wounded party members out of out for missions, the hideout is the only place where they will regenerate health over time. Okay. The priced. Missing the price allows you to see the list of all resistance fighters who have fallen in the service of the uprising. The provisioner overview. The provisioner serves as the trade hub of your hideout. It is through her that you will are able to purchase your basic equipment, repair and damage gear and sell unwanted weaponry and excess ammunition. All trades with the provisioner use supplies as the currency. Okay. Aside from trading, you can obtain supplies through activities during mission. Okay. Supplies. We can trade supplies, weapons, barter, this screen allows you to buy and sell ammunition as well as field items such as flare compasses and bandages. Repair, this screen allows you to repair any damaged weapons you may retry during mission. Okay, here below I can see all the, the unit and NPCs that are uh, in the hideout. The archivist, the archivist gives you access to the codex which allow you to learn the detailed detailed backstories of your incident. Open and ah, that's this is cool. A little background for all my units. These three are the unique units list for now. And about weapons characters unlocked entries. 3 of 70 okay here 
The informant is your window into the status of the uprising. Here you can monitor the overall condition of the uprising as well as individual resistance pockets in a specific district. Okay, here are all the, the districts. To keep the fight going, each day the uprising consumes war assets and they are provided by district. By default, war assets are in deficit to represent the uprising gradually slowing down. Your task is to manage this deficit and prolong the uprising by keeping all districts more alive. Reaching zero momentum means that the uprising is unable to go on and the game ends. When you are all set, click on new mission. Okay, for me we can start a new mission, um, but we need to, to keep an eye on the uprising level. Before go, the recruiter allow you to enlist volunteer. Okay, volunteer are not as capable as your unique insurgents. For instance, they cannot rank up and cannot have more than one personal skill. They allow you to fill gaps in your team composition and stand in for wounded characters during their recovery. Enlisting volunteers cost supply. Okay. Christoph, home army soldier. Okay. Okay, guys, that's all. Warsaw is available through through Steam. Has a lot of positive reviews and nothing. Let me know if you already played. Uh, what you what you think about it? Um, I really like to to know your your opinion. Um, please check always check our our blog, where you will find news, uh, overview and reviews about turn based games. And if you like the the video, even if you don't like the video please share and subscribe ciao